Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one here is going to be a show and tell on the sizing. So, you've seen this bad boy in the unboxing video. And uh, it's been weeks now and I haven't sized it yet. So, I'm going to size it today so I can actually wear it. So, this is um, a Sub Aqua Jason Taylor or Jason Taylor Sub Aqua Specialty. Um, I don't really know how to say it because I'm new to this watch. So we're going to stick with Jason Taylor's Sabaco Specialty. It kind of rolls off the tongue. Um, this has the case and cradle design. This has the Sabaco Specialty um, look. But it has an excursion bracelet. So it's uh, a little confusing. Now this comes factory on this bracelet. Um, there's a Sabaco Specialty that comes just like this. But um, has the Sabaco Specialty uh, lugs. And bracelet. So this is like a, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, it's different. Definitely different. So, uh, this is model number 17830. Um, all black with carbon fiber, case sides, the, um, bezel below the actual bezel. I don't know what you call that. I guess the lower, the case is a uh, carbon fiber as well. You see that there. And you've got it on the case sides. And then you got it on the dial too. So very cool watch. Limited edition Swiss made Jason Taylor. And this is um a Ronda Z60 powered uh quartz movement. And this is limited edition. There's a number right there. 168 out of 999. This is a reserve. This is just a, a, a killer watch. And uh I want to wear it. I haven't worn it yet, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show it off like I'm doing now, and then we're going to size it. So this is all screwed down as well. Um, I got the cooler on the wrist today. I'm going to take this off, actually, to uh, size this Jason Taylor because I haven't put it on my wrist yet to see how it fits. So this is a brand new bracelet, according to my buddy Marco that I got it from. And yeah, I've got some slack. So I'm going to say... I'm going to go two, and then we'll see where we're at. But um, very cool watch. Nice weight to it. Feels good. I can't wait to size it and get to sport it. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. All right, so before we even get started sizing, I made my little bag. Jason Taylor Sabaco Specialty, model number 17830. So when I'm looking for these links, I know exactly where they are. <clears throat> now we're going to start with following the arrows. Arrows point down there. So we're going to hit out that way. And I'm going to do one and one. Um, I think that should be good enough. This bracelet is thick. It barely fits in this thing. Okay. I've got so many tools on my workbench here right now and I barely find anything. Okay, two pins out, remove one link. Putting the link back in, or the pin back into the link. Give it a nice little love tap, and we'll make sure it's all nice and tight when we're done. Now we're gonna flip it and do the other side.
Now these are just uh, cotter pin type pins. So uh, they slide out very, very easily. I like pin and sleeve for um, stability wise. Pin and sleeve, you know, they have a better chance of surviving bumps and, and not the pin just not falling out on its own. <clears throat> but cotter pin type design like this is definitely um, easier to size. So like for a novice sizing, you know, um, the first watch or something, it's much easier because it takes way less effort. Okay, that's still pretty loose. We'll micro adjust it. So let me tap those tighter and micro adjust it and see how we do. I might have to take another one out. It's a little too loose for my liking, but not bad. Now I'm just pushing in the pins that I removed to make sure they're nice and snug. Because the last thing you want is that pin falling out and the watch falling off your wrist. That's disaster. Nobody wants that. I know damn well I don't. So uh, this, uh, this ensures that that pin is nice and snug in there. So we're already adjusted to the second one in. So I'm going to go to the third one in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Beautiful watch, right? And I don't know. All right. So this is a dilemma that we get into as watch collectors is uh, there's some times where no matter what you do, it just doesn't fit exactly right. So instead of going back and forth with a micro adjustment, I'm going to take out another link. So we are going to remove one more link. Okay. Now, hopefully this should be just right. Um, some watches I take out one link. Some watches I take out three links. So not all Invictus are created equal as far as uh, band length. I think it all matters on, on case diameter as well and stuff like that. On how many links you have to take out of the watch. Because uh, it's hit or miss for me. Some watches I have to take out one. Some watches I don't take out any. Some watches I take out three. I think three is the most I ever take out. There we go. Perfect now. And there it is. That beauty's on my wrist. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please stay tuned for uh, photos with uh, music by me, TBT. Um, besides that, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like. Let me know what you're watching. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this bad boy. I think it's a beautiful watch. Anyway, um, have a great day, and as always, God bless. Better than the rest of them, uh, compare us to the best of them, uh, better than the rest of them, uh, compare us to the best of them, uh, know the name, know the game, know the pain, ayy, know the name, know the game, know the pain, ayy, know the name, know the game, know the pain, ayy. Know the name, know the game, know the pain, ayy. Better than the rest of them, uh. Compare us to the best of them, uh. Better than the rest of them, uh. Compare us to the best of them, uh. Better than the rest of them, uh. Compare us to the best of them, uh. Better than the rest of them, uh. Compare us to the best of them, uh.
So if you stay to the end, after the photos, drop a comment. Let me know you're uh, to the end warrior, part of the big time gang for real. Um, I don't get very many people that stay to the end. Um, it's sad, but nowadays our attention spans are horrible and, uh, uh, nobody stays to the end, you know, um, I know that if the video is over like 15 minutes, um, it's hard for me to find 15 minutes at one time that I want to dedicate to that one video. But, but my videos are normally between like six minutes and 10, 12 minutes. So, um, I find it crazy that you can't stay tuned for a whole six minute video on a six minute video. My watch time after like a hundred views. It's like two minutes and like 50 seconds or two minutes and 20 seconds. And it's like, geez, bro. But anyways, enough about my rant. Um, I always like to show me, you know, putting all the links together and then packaging them up. And for some reason, half the time when I'm doing a sizing video, I forget to add that in. I close it out. And I'm like, oh, I got the link still here. So I put this at the end because this was like an afterthought. But uh, anyways, I appreciate you staying to the end. And uh, <clears throat> I've got my uh, LeBron 17s on today. Let's see if I can get a shot of those. Bam. So uh, that video, either you've seen it yet or it hasn't come out on my channel. I don't know what order I'm going to put them in. But uh, these things were a pain in the butt to get on. But I dig them though. So anyway, have a great day. And God bless. Big time gang.